So for July 3rd at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, um, just going to give you an update on the current numbers that we have. Uh, we have tested 6,534 individuals in our community, um, which is remarkable. I have to thank the lab, the assessment center, and everyone that's come forward uh, to get tested. It's only through rapid testing that we can control this virus. To date, uh, with all of those tests being done, we've only found 37 individuals who have tested positive as of today. We are actively following 163 <clears throat> individuals uh, who were contacts of those 37 people. Uh, to give a little more detail, the vast majority, 65% are female, and we, we'd expect that with an outbreak that was initially associated with um, a, a nail salon. Uh, the average age overall is 38.7. Uh, for women, it's uh, 35.8, and for men, it, it's 43.9. The occupations that were affected, uh, and this clearly is uh, disconcerting, we had uh, a nurse, uh, individuals working in corrections, uh, restaurant workers, first responders, uh, those in the construction, and those in the retail sector. So if we hadn't caught this early, uh, this could have projected uh, through both through workplaces and through uh, family settings. Uh, again, as of today, associated with the, uh, the nail salons, uh, we've had 35 total cases. We, we're not seeing any specific clustering within uh, the geography of KFLNA. We're seeing cases diffusely ac across Amherst View and Kingston. Uh, and uh, generally, um, this population uh, is in the middle income range. Uh, and again, this is what's called an epidemic curve. Uh, we started with the one case on June 21st. We made the association between the nail salons uh, and several individuals by around the 23rd, 24th, uh, and um, issued uh, news releases regarding uh, that exposure soon thereafter. We reached a, a peak of 10 cases through early aggressive testing. Uh, and then through, uh, and despite uh, aggressive testing of over 6,534 individuals, um, we are now starting to taper off with four new cases today, and those cases were expected. So again, thanks to the community, in my opinion, this is getting under control. We're not out of the woods. We've got a couple of weeks to continue to monitor this, um, but uh, to date, uh, I have to thank the community for stepping up, stepping forward, isolating, quarantine, quarantining, and getting tested.